I would uh, I would be moving into giving you one word, and I would love to have your reaction to this word uh, in a sentence or more. Right. Okay. So the first one is leadership. So uh, my reaction is empowering others. Actually. Great. What about diversity? Oh my God. Extremely important. Having a diversity in an organization is what brings power to the organization. Can you share a little bit more? Because I know you're passionate about it and you've done a lot of work within MIT on DEI. Can you share with us a little bit more, you know, from data to actions and fact, what you've been doing? Right. So a couple of things. The first is that by recognizing that if you bring a lot of different voices, you know, by analogy to data would be if you have different and diverse sources of data and even methods that you combine, you will actually have a much more powerful outcome. In fact, what we did in our algorithms to predict was exactly the principle of diversity. We basically developed a lot of different and diverse algorithms that capture different aspects. If you like, we brought different voices and by ensembling them together, we created a much more powerful result. So it's almost like taking the model of diversity and putting it in an algorithmic setting. <laughs> and that's one example, but I believe it in everything I do and I see it in my group and I see it at MIT and I know now MIT and in general, MIT takes this very seriously. We can do much better, but you know, recognizing this is the first step to success, I would say. Yeah, no, I love it. Well, recognizing the problem, right? <laughs> and, recognizing and the problem, right. Uh, I have to ask this. Many of the listeners won't know what it is. DMD. Data, models, and decisions. <laughs> How you go from data to recommending good decisions that will bring value. And value doesn't have to be just revenue or profit. It can be improving the world in some way. Awesome. And this is one of the best courses in this EBA program. Uh, the last one I'd love your reaction on is spread love and organizations. So do you need one word or where shall I no, start? You can, whatever you want. <laughs> you know, spread love, I would say basically uh, feeling compassion and trying to understand other people in the organization so that in, in, you can embrace others and you can embrace the diversity or the lack thereof of an organization and then bring diversity to the organization. And by sort of having that empathy and compassion with others and spreading it is what would make the organization successful. Um, so as I said before, in a way, it's kind of understanding and enabling and embracing others. Awesome. Uh... Georgia, any final word of wisdom for all the leaders around the world? So I would say one thing, which is extremely important to me, and I will put it in mathematical terms, what I call the law of large numbers. And what I mean by that is persist and look at the long-term goal. That's what I learned in my career. You know, things didn't just come on my plate <laughs> as I went along in my career, but you know, uh, I try to focus on the end outcome rather than look at the failures that I had right in front of me. And I call that the law of large numbers, that if you persist and look at the future long term, it will work out eventually. <laughs> the law of large number. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much.